Hey guys, Micah here with Electrek, and today I'm reviewing the Radwagon electric cargo bike from Rad Power Bikes. This bike is super versatile and also super affordable at just $1,500. Let me show you why it's so cool. First of all, the Radwagon is really well outfitted for its price. It comes with a powerful 750 watt direct drive motor. There's no gears in this hub motor, it's just a big beefy chunk of copper, magnets, and steel. That helps bump up the power over smaller geared motors found on other e-bikes. Next, the 48 volt and 14 amp hour battery offers nearly 700 watt hours of capacity, which is important for battery draining activities like hauling a bunch of cargo. The bike is pretty big and built with hefty aluminum tubes, but it still only weighs in at around 33 kilos or 73 pounds. That's not lightweight of course, but look how big the bike is. So it is surprisingly light for its size. But where the rad wagon really shines is in its utility. On the back we've got that nice wooden deck and matching wooden running boards, and together they offer space for a lot of cargo. With a 159 kilo or 350 pound weight limit, there's a lot of possibilities for what you can haul. I started off by testing with a bunch of boxes strapped to the deck, though you can also get a number of accessory racks and baskets that bolt right onto the deck. There's even baskets for the front end too if you want to carry even more stuff. Once my initial cargo testing was done, I upped the ante with a passenger. The rear deck has a 55 kilo or 120 pound weight limit, meaning you can carry a few kids back there or one not too large adult. Since my wife and I are currently enjoying playing life on easy mode without any kids, she had to sub in for my passenger. I used the deck pad accessory to give a more cushy seat than the bare wood, and I installed a deck hand accessory to give her something to hold on to. Pro tip, the deck hand is also great for moving the bike around in tight corners, though the seat does have a built-in handle as well. When it comes to carrying a passenger, the rad wagon works great and it was a lot of fun. My wife says she felt perfectly stable back there, and that the pad was nice, though not quite as nice as her normal gel bicycle seat. But between you and me, she's a little bit pampered if you know what I mean, and I found the deck pad to be perfectly fine on my own rear end. The bike does ride a bit differently with the weight of a passenger back there. While it feels almost like a normal bike when you're by yourself, the second passenger's weight makes the bike feel longer and you'll end up anticipating turns and braking a bit sooner than normal. But it felt quite natural and we both had a blast on there. When I'm not chauffeuring my wife around, I have two of Rad's big cargo bags on the rear. They're waterproof roll top bags that are designed specifically for the Rad Wagon and they work great. I can fit all of our groceries in them when I go shopping and I haven't actually needed more space yet than those two bags provide. So the Rad Wagon works great as an electric cargo bike. Now when it comes to the bike components, they're certainly adequate, but they're not the highest level out there. The Tektro mechanical disc brakes work fine, and the Shimano 7-speed cassette gives you plenty of gear range when you want to help pedal. I also love the double center kickstand, because it makes it so easy to park the bike and hop off. You're never worried about fiddling with uneven loads or soft ground surfaces. The Rad Wagon certainly is not a standard e-bike, and so it will give you a bit of a wider turning radius than you might be used to. But the geometry works well and the brakes are strong, so it gives you this nice nimble ride still. I wouldn't say it stops on a dime, but maybe on a half dollar. All in all, I'm very happy with the Rad Wagon as an e-bike, and I'm thrilled with it as a cargo bike. Come on, for $1,500, including free shipping, you just can't beat this deal. I don't know how they make a profit on it, but I don't want to ask too many questions in case they realize it's worth much more than that. Sure, it's not the same level of e-bike as a $6,000 Yuba or a recent Moeller e-cargo bike, but you could get four of these Rad Wagons for just one of those other top shelf bikes. For me, the Rad Wagon is a no-brainer. If you need a cargo e-bike and you're on a budget, this is definitely the one. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found that review interesting. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. We'll see you next time.